Welcome to Akia James to my channel of an everyday life of an ice If you're new to my channel, I welcome you all. I'm SB. I'm all about creating mental health and awareness and sharing my life stories. As you know, Christmas is upon us yet again, obviously, and obviously this time of year of has been going so quick smart for most of us some of us not realise that it's with the snip of the fingers. Hey bingo, we've got Christmas on, on upon us now. So this one is obviously going to be another Christmas vlogma kind of vlog as I said because as I said I want to jazz it up while I'm you know away out of action be it some of the Christmas fun stuff hopefully that I can entertain you all as well as educating you all to get to know me more of a person as well as maybe just to educate you all in a sense of just with whatever topics it may be of the mental health and awareness and having a bit of fun but whatever reason you landed on my page i welcome you all and hopefully in saying this that you've taken something special away from you so as i said this is going to be a different uptake obviously to some of the videos i've done in the past even though yes i have done some christmas vlogmas kind of style videos as of last year of 2016 which I'm hoping to link that in the description below or in the eye bar somewhere above us so that we can hopefully follow through on what I got up to even though it was only 12 days I got up to with my vlogmas and I'm hoping to push forward and see if I can do it as another 25 days instead of 12 days depending on my health as well as my other personal reasons. I thought to do this update to share with you all today of this video of the one that is as labelled the 12 days of Christmas or what have you or the 12 ideals kind of you know favourites of Christmas of an uptake of basically the song 12 days of Christmas and just jazz it up a bit about my favourites of the 12 things that I feel is my favourite and some of it may be similar to the person that I asked for this idea from of the name of C's from acting my life which I'll link her channel in the bottom of the description as well and you can pop in to say hello to her and just say that Aspie sent me through and maybe show your support to her as well. I like some of her videos right now as well as many others at this point of time, especially hers because I can co-relate to some of the things she has been sharing regardless of what she does. Even though she's done some based on epilepsy awareness, plus some of it based on her acting of what she does in a drama school and whatnot and she brings things to life obviously an easier way to understand one another so as i said just pop in and say hey so let's begin this so from the very first let go number one of my favorites is to me is Christmas stories, young, old, no matter how old we are or young we are, we must have some favourite Christmas stories laying about. Some of the Christmas stories I like to listen to bring us together, obviously, this is how I look at it, as well as Christmas movies, which is the second one on the list, basically, that brings us together as a family, read read to our house content, be it if we sharing a storyline or a play or whatever or a script or what have you, what we do in the you know time frame of these Christmas stories, you know, bring it out to life. That's how I like to do about it. That's what I like about Christmas so far for this one, one and two. I'll be sharing out to you guys hopefully maybe my top five or top ten favourite Christmas movies and hopefully in the next few that's over so that you can get to know me and maybe you can relate to some of these also just by commenting below. So, number three is Christmas carols and musicals. I like to go out, you know, watching different people from different churches or just different ethnic groups singing their own version of Christmas carols and sometimes also the musical acts of Christmas, Christmas musicals or plays. Even though here in New Zealand, sadly, they have been shortening it up a bit for you know the real reason for the season of Christmas but that's okay because obviously you know everyone has their own rights to what they believe in and whatnot so it's about of just accepting one another's differences of opinion versus you know our religion or thought structure what have you. Number four on the list if I'm reading right is Christmas decorations. I like to hang up my Christmas tree but as of the new one that you may have seen in my last video last year of my white one it's at my parents place sadly 
which I would love to put it behind me and decorate so I can feel a bit more at home and feel like, you know, Christmas there. Plus another another stuff of the Christmas decorations I like out of there is, you know, the Christmas lights as well as some other bits and pieces. There's so many to label at the moment that I've seen and liked that I'm trying to get into the Christmas themed idea. Especially last year when I was doing up my Christmas tree, which I was hoping to do this year, was supposed to be a summery Christmas theme, even though it's a white Christmas tree instead of a you know traditional green one or what have you that you see lying about number five is my <clears throat> favorite is jewelry christmas jewelry especially on the odd occasion i'll be wearing christmas jewelry usually sometimes before during and after christmas especially the ones i bought for christmas or not myself bought for christmas or someone i may have of some of my bracelets. I'm into bracelets and necklaces at the moment, even though I would love to try and, you know, make sure to back off away from the bus of jewellery because obviously every girl's dream is to have as much jewellery they want in the post position, isn't it? But then again in saying this though Yes, I'm obsessed with, you know, certain jewellery, but I have to be careful with certain jewellery besides the cost involvement of it. It's also the like kind of metals that's inside it. There are um, some needles I am allergic to that creates a bad rash sort of thing and makes me like itch like crazy and I just feel like at this point of time it's just like hang on a minute what am I to do itch 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 or shall I ignore the itch and just try to put some aloe vera cream on or some sort of cream just to relieve the itch or shall I just leave it as a little memoir inside my jewelry box like I had been which you know sadly I would love to wear some of those things just to bring it out again. Number six of the top of the list for my favourite Christmas things is Christmas baking treats. Be it gingerbread house, be it whatever Christmas related, I like the smell of gingerbread obviously. So I'm a bit of a fan of the gingerbread house, gingerbread men. I'm into shortbreads and stuff as well. So anything Christmas related of the Christmas baking, because I used to love to, you know, bake in stuff for my time, you know, when I was younger. And I'm hoping to try and bring it back in maybe some of that stuff for myself to do some baking and some other things I love either on the channel or just for my own personal enjoyment when I'm away off the channel you know just to chill out and relax. Number seven on the Christmas 12 days of Christmas what I like on my Christmas favorites is Christmas drinks be it your classic cocktails of certain things even though I'm not much of a heavy drinker, so therefore, you know, you got to have to mock it up a bit with the mocktails and whatnot. Now and again, I'll, I'll drink, but then again, I've, I've noticed that certain drinks does affect me due to my anxiety versus some other condition that's underlying me at this point of time, which sadly, you know, we shouldn't go overboard anyway when it comes down to drinking alcohol and whatnot. You know, there's no way to go, I feel. That's just me. But in saying this, some of the mock kind of, you know, alcoholic drinks that we make in Christmas Day can be good enough as well as just, you know, everyday ones that has the alcoholic beverage. But obviously, if you do decide to drink though, throughout Christmas with the alcohol, drink sensibly and wisely and think of others if you do decide to, you know, travel on the roads and stuff, you know, safety measures, don't want any of you to, you know, end up hurting yourselves in any form. Number eight, something new tr to try and new adventures. Well, as you guys have been aware, I've been doing my very darn hardest to go out and about outside the full screen and throughout the year whatever events that takes my fancy I take you guys along with me I'm hoping despite this something new to try would be you know something different like I've said to you guys before I think you know the baking with SB series was going to be in the near future I was hoping if things weren't that bad for me I was going to go about doing some more of those maybe four years as well as um, just normal everyday you know ventures or as well as I don't know seeing if if I do sustain a amount of subs maybe to do a YouTube special subscription channel special for you guys of one facing one of my fears sort of thing regardless what it may be so let's hope maybe 
it will go with a bang after New Year's while I'm away. I don't know, but time permitting, I'll see what I can do for you, you know, in a way of as a special thank you for still being in my channel as well as just following me on my journey. Number nine is your normal everyday Christmas songs. I have a few favourite Christmas songs here and there and I think later today I'll be listing some of my Christmas songs and whatever's on my Christmas playlist for this season. Even though majority of the time for me, however, my playlist will obviously renew itself or what have you depending on you know what I listen to some some of them you know will be old some of them will be new some of them will be in the mix of old and new but they've just it up a bit but if you wanted you know what's in my Christmas playlist this year or just what's on my playlist comment below and I'll hopefully find my list of playlists and actually link it up to you or share it with you guys so therefore, obviously in saying this, my favourite Christmas song in the moment, there's been a few of Ariana Grande's I've been listening to versus Mariah Carey's classic one, All I Want For Christmas. Um, another one is a classic from Cliff Richard, Christmas Time. Christmas time, so one one, children sing. Or something along those lines, as well as Mariah Carey, All I Want for Christmas, which I'm hoping to do some song covers later on, later today. If you want to hear more, let me know below also, just to give you guys a lowdown. Like, even though now that song is sticking in my head, All I Want for Christmas, I've been hearing it over and over again. All I want for Christmas is you. Sorry guys, I'm, I'm always in a singing mood. For some reason it's coming to me now and again of certain songs, you know. Next on the list is certain traditions that we share. Christmas traditions, you name it, or some form of, you know, classic, you know, holiday celebration kind of tradition. I try to hopefully fulfill it, but obviously I haven't done so in the last few years due to, you know, trying to figure out what I can bring back on the table for us regardless to bring it alive again as well as also and saying this of the traditions is just you know being with family and friends sharing those traditions as well as my 12 favorite part of it is just being with family and friends and just having a bit of a laugh having a catch up and everything because to me Christmas is all about you know giving, gifting and basically catching up with our loved ones, family, friends, co-workers, whoever we associate with or don't associate with in Christmas and hopefully it will unite us together and just you know bring us peace and happiness and joy and laughter. Number 11 on the list is creating fond memories past and present. You know regardless of what all we all you know been through a long hard yard of no matter what it may be you know sometimes in our everyday life regardless of it all of what we've been through it does challenge us you know i believe we're here for a reason basically as well as a purpose in life so in saying this though like what i'm meaning in creating memories as such is basically creating some new ones as well as old ones and hopefully when we create new ones we can then look back on it and reflect on it and say, oh yeah, cool, I've done this, you know, and a it's something to laugh and giggle about also, and also to give us time if we do, depending on our age, if we had kids, grandkids, you name it, hopefully that, you know, we can share, share our moments with them, what we got up to with the little shenanigans and whatnot, you know, have a bit of a giggle and whatnot. And last on the list for my one and number 12 for the Christmas favourite listings, is obviously since it's different here in New Zealand we're in summer it would be lo lovely to actually for me hopefully in the near future time permitting on my age and everything else in between all that but I'm pushing it for time is hoping to go overseas and you know enjoy the winter Christmas format of people saying that you know winter Christmas is better than summer Christmas over here in you know New Zealand but in saying this like summer holidays destinations of my favorite spots of where i want to go you know here in new zealand maybe to still try and venture out further down south if i'm brave enough to you know catch up with friends that maybe lived it, living down south that i haven't even heard from 
even though some has been lost and missing in action for a while due to my probably you know personal reasons of what I've been through but summer holidays is the last one which I was hoping to share is what um, I like to do as my favorite Christmas thing you know be it going out on the beach even though yes okay as I said before I need a slip slop slip wrap you know being this pasty white girl I am need to take pride on my English rose skin so I don't obviously get sunburned and the rest of it but in saying that another holiday destination maybe for me regardless of the beach even though in New Zealand for summer Christmas or even just year round there are many things to do in New Zealand I would like to hopefully go out maybe to the native bush scenery and stuff and do some more hiking or tr trigging hopefully in the near future time put it time permitting on that front as well as all these other aims and goals that I want to achieve. So this is quickly of the 12 ideal favourites of Christmas for SB. I hope you enjoy and and saying this Merry Christmas and do what you love, love what you do. Until next time, as we starting out, I'll see you again soon. Ciao for now. Ho, 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 ho. Merry Christmas. <laughs>